Leroy, my brother. We uh, we're part of the screwed up clique, and, and, and then we got a, a relationship outside of music. You know, it's, it's bigger than music, so you know this is how we do. I got something going on. He comes through when he can, and, and vice versa. It ain't about no money. How old were you when you joined the screwed up clique? Uh, 19, 18, 17, something like that. Yeah. I, I was like 17, 18, something like that. So you and Zero been rapping together for a long time, right? Yeah. Doing a lot of work. What is it like when you go in the studio with him and y'all collab on a song? Um, it's not even like it's work, you know, it's, it's, um, we just get in there, like, we, we don't let egos come in play, you know what I mean, like, we just vibe out, like, he might be like, you do the hook, I might be like, you do the hook, you know, we just, we, we just let it flow. Now, how do you feel when you hear people refer to you and Zero as Houston legends, a legends in Southern Hip Hop? What was the first part of the question? How do you feel when people refer to you and Zero as legends in hip hop or Southern hip hop? And you know, when they when they in Houston, they mention Little Flip, Zero, Screwed Up Flip. How does that make you feel? I mean, I I appreciate it, but one thing I was taught: you don't never get caught up. Like like Jay Prince told me, if you can count your money, you ain't got enough. Which means don't get the big head off your success. So just because I sold all the records I sold and touring and every day I'm grinding like I ain't got nothing. You know what I mean? So I appreciate it, but I don't I don't bathe in it and be like, okay, I'm a legend, I ain't gotta do shit no more. I still work like I'm an underground artist. Do you feel that sometimes you don't get the credit that you deserve for putting Houston on the map? Because I remember growing up in Dallas. And hear all of their songs. But I feel like now the younger generation is like they forget who started this. It, it, it's like that um, sometimes, but a lot of the, the newer generation, they show love. Some show love on Front Street and some show love behind the scenes. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I get my credit from God. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing so much stuff outside of rap. You know, I got MMA fighters and boxers and apps and dispensaries and my own strain and tattoo shops, my own liquor, books. I'm painting with the kids. We got a movement called Art Over Drugs where we teach the kids how to paint. So I ain't really tripping on the credit. I'm going to still work like I'm a, a brand new artist. What made you branch out and go outside of hip hop and really expand your brand? I mean, I got family that's nothing but workers, you know what I mean? Some of my family members, Black Panthers, so I've always had businesses since I was little, you know what I mean? So my whole family, we work. We have multiple jobs, work, 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 work. Like when I was like nine, I had my own lawnmower um, company, and I had grown men working for me, so I just work. My whole family workers, you know what I mean? So this new class of uh, hip-hop rappers coming out of h -Town. Who are some of your favorite rappers that come out of Houston right now, the new kids? Um, of course you gotta start out with the Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys, um, Scarface, you got the Three Twos, um, the, uh, the Gangsta Nips, Fifth War Boys, you had the ESGs, um, who else we had out here, man? The K Renos. X Bam, we had a rapper out here named Bam. He had some dope shit. Who else we had like back in the days that just what do you think Devin, about? Devin the Dude? Can't forget Devin oh, the Dude. Absolutely. Yeah, Devin the Dude. What about this new class of rappers like the young kids coming up now? I, I'm actually cool with a lot of them. Um, who, who would you say is one of your favorite ones that you really feel they music? Um, man, what's his name? He brought me out. Um, he brought me out to one of his shows. I'm trying to think of his name. Oh, Propane. You know, he brought me out to one of his shows. Um, I like what the South Twins doing. Um, who else we got? It's an artist out here named AK. He's a heap dope. Um, you got Trill Sammy. You got Dice Soho. I've been, I've been knowing Dice since he was little. You know, like I... You know, I watched him grow up, man, so I'm, I'm proud that he's working. You got Riff Rap doing his thing. Who else we got? Uh, that's working. That's working. You got B-King. You can't go to no strip club without hearing B-King. Um, and it's just a few other people out there. But don't, don't, And Kirko, you got Kirko doing his thing. Uh, Cheddar the Connect. 
I don't want to leave nobody out, but that's that's mainly off the top of my head who I who I know. How do you feel about um, people when they say outside Houston artists come to Houston and get more love in the city, or they don't appreciate artists that steal the Houston style? At the end of the day, it's on public relations. It's on how you talk to your fans, how you deal with the people. You know, if you go around with the big head, like everybody owe you something, people ain't gonna wanna deal with you. So, every artist got their own attitude. You know what I'm saying? So, if you went around with the big head, treat people like trash, people go do you the same way. When it's all said and done, how do you want, me, want to be remembered? Uh, just somebody who never let the money change them. Like, it don't matter at the end of the day, I'm gonna take time to talk to everybody who's worth talking to, because you know, some people got attitudes or whatever. So I, I'm just about energy. But yeah, I'm just a person that never gonna let the money change me. You know what I mean? And, and that's why all the promoters and the artists, they, they mess with me because when everybody got platinum records and stuff, you know, you might have up and coming artists that want to verse with you. They might not, they might not be able to pay you ten and fifteen thousand for a record. I'm the artist that's like, what you got, man? I got five grand. I'm taking that. I'm taking the fives. I'm taking the eights. I'm taking the fours. Because at the end of the day, it all add up. And those same artists, they remember when they make it, they come back like, Flip, man, I appreciate you showing me, you know, love. And now they got their money right. Like I did a, a, a record with a guy in Indiana. I, only, he ain't, I, I told him I wanted 4,000. He's like, all I got is three. So I did the record for him for 3K. I bumped into him like five years later and he was at the front of the club. He had a brand new like Monte Carlo on rims. And he was like, man, the record we did, you helped buy that car. He like, now nah, I got my money up. Now nah, I want to give you 10 grand for a verse, five grand for the video. So sometimes those blessings come to you. It might not come to you right then, but you might get them later.